Hi everyone, welcome to Inkscape for Glowforge users. Um, today we are going to actually take a slightly different path. Um, we will be applying this to Inkscape, but this is a way for you to make your Inkscape experience even better. So we are going to be looking at fonts. Now, if you go into Inkscape, you probably have your basic fonts and those were fine and I made it work for me overall, but there are actually tons more fonts out there that I didn't realize that I could even just have on my Inkscape. And actually a ton of these are free and free for commercial use on top of that. And so today I'm going to show you guys three different sites that I have downloaded fonts from before that I have loved to use in Inkscape and how to download them to your computer using Inkscape. So let's get started. The first one that I actually just recently used was Creative Fabrica. So Creative Fabrica has a lot of cool different fonts and these websites all have different fonts and there's all different ways for you to search for them. So, um, and it depends on if you want them for personal or for commercial use. So this one was a font that I recently found and there's tons of different fonts. Now, one of the things that you can do is if you want really just unlimited fonts and you want all of these different fonts, you can have unlimited access for $19 a month. If you are looking at really doing a lot of commercial type of things, this might be the thing for you. But there's actually a lot of these different types of fonts. I've seen this one a lot. I've seen the ones with the hearts a lot. And some of these are really, really popular with a lot of the popular projects. So you can buy these different types of fonts. Some of them are cheap. Some of them are expensive. But most of the time, if you click on them, it comes with full commercial use. Make sure to check on each one of them. But with this one, uh, lifetime license for personal and commercial use for you. So that's awesome. But what's even better about a lot of these sites is if you go, you can click on freebies, which I love things that are free, which is part of the reason I use Inkscape. You can look and a lot of these different fonts and other types of things are free. So this one, I think this one looks super cool. I actually don't have this one. So looks like it is free. Um, you want to make sure that it does say you can use it for commercial use. Um, now, some of them don't look like they do, but there's all oh, this one's a font bundle, so it's a little bit different. Um, but there are tons of different fonts that you can use. You can use this one. This one looks like it's free and it says commercial usage allowed, which is awesome. So let's just find one to download for free. So let's find another font. This one doesn't have nearly as many fonts, but it looks like it has a lot of other types of things, which is pretty cool. So this one's a free font. So I'll click on this one, commercial usage allowed, perfect. And then I will download this one. It should show up download over here. And then an easy way to install it, which I'll show you guys in a second, is if you click it, you should have your folder. I like to hit extract all, extract, takes a little bit to copy, usually not too long. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to right click on this and then hit install for all users. And then it'll install your font. If you don't do that, it won't install it in all the places. For the longest time, I kept hitting install and it wouldn't put it in Inkscape. Now, the other thing is, since you see this little shield, I have found that for me, it will not run until I run my virus scan. So I have ABG. So until I run ABG, um, it will not show up in Inkscape. So I hit install for all users. I run ABG and then it shows up, which is just so cool because now I can use this font. And a lot of these fonts are way cooler than anything they just have in default in Inkscape. All right. So let's go to the next one. This one's font bundles. This was actually something that I purchased recently. So for all the mom signs, this was a really, really popular font. And I love it because it has all the little hearts. So but there are also tons of free fonts on font, font bundles here. So if you click on free fonts, and again, these are free, and most of these you can use for commercial use. So there's tons of different cool fonts. And as you can see, fonts for all different types of uses. So let's click on this one. And again, make sure that it is able to be used for commercial purposes. Most of them say so. Yep, this font comes with premium commercial and personal use, which is awesome. And then you can download the file for free, which is cool. And then again, same process, click on the font, extract all, extract. 
And some of these different fonts come with a few different styles. So some of them come with like regular versus like bold versus like other types of things. So I usually kind of default and just install them all. Um, I figure I can always delete them later. But again, the way that you would do this is I'll just do the regular true type here. Right click, install for all users. It'll take a second and then you should be good after you run your uh, virus software. So that's awesome. So as you can see in the font bundle, there are a ton of free fonts. And basically what I do is I just make sure they're for commercial use and I just download them all and then just put them all on Inkscape because that way I just have the choices. Now, the other thing is a lot of times they have a free font of the week. So this one I think is the free font. Yep, this one's the free font of the week. And so there's new free font every week. So this is only available this week. So download those, just check in once a week and download it real quick. It only takes a few minutes and then you'll have even more fonts that you can mess with. So all of these, and again, there's like five pages of free fonts and these are all pretty cool stuff. So unless you have a very specific purpose, um, I wouldn't really recommend buying too many fonts, but you can, because you can find so many of them for free. And if you use any kind of Cricut software as well, I also have a Cricut and I found that this also downloads it on your Cricut software if it's downloaded to your desk, desk, desktop, which is even cooler. Now, the last one I use is called Defont. That one is really, really cool because it has tons of different types of fonts as well. Um, you can sort by different styles. So these are all different types of fonts and so many of them. Now, the thing with this one is a lot of them do say free for personal use, free for personal use, free for personal use, etc. Some of them 100% free, you can use it um, anywhere, but a lot of them do say free for personal use. So if it says personal use, just be careful. I don't want you to get in, in any kind of trouble. That means that you can use it for yourself, for your friends, for your gifts, but do not use it for any kind of selling purposes. So there's tons of these different types of fonts. Um, there's different looks to fonts. There's different, like all of these different types of things. And again, there's tons of these fonts, but most of them that I found on this website are free for personal use. Now, if you do click on the font, sometimes that they'll say like, Hey, if you want anything that is more than personal use, please click on this. And it'll actually sometimes link you to the other sites, but this is a good way for a lot of times they, them to get their fonts out there. So again, this is really cool. You can then open up Inkscape. This is actually one of the fonts that I just recently bought, which I thought was so cool. And then if you click on your font, so if you try to type something here, so I'll just try to type whatever, we can go to the font that I've, different things that I bought. So the one I just bought was hand tool, I believe. Yep. And then it'll transform it into that font. And that's something that you can use. So downloading these fonts is really, really awesome. Uh, I'd encourage you guys to download a bunch of these fonts because it'll make your projects even better. If you have any questions about anything, let me know and have a great day.